Hello, this is World University and Schools News and Question and Answer on Monday, August 29th, 2022, 1 p.m. Eastern Time, 10 a.m. Pacific Time. And I have my Corona mask, coronavirus mask, and I'm here in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania at the uh, Barnes and Noble Booksellers store in the Waterworks doing this uh, WS News and Question and Answer. Uh, books and the WS Bookstore, uh, physical and digital, WUAS educational services, bookstores, computer stores, robotic stores are planned in all 200 countries and in all 7,151 known living languages with an academic press that might emerge out of GDocs with Google Translate in 133 languages uh, and publish to two different formats. One would be to paper and available uh, in physical bookstores and first in digital bookstores in all 7,151 known living languages. And the other format to publish to would be a new format, uh, like um, in a realist, from a realistic virtual earth uh, for everything. So think Google Street View with Time Slider, Google Maps, Google Earth, Trans, uh, TensorFlow AI, Translate, and with even avatar bot electronic medical records, the little pegman grows into electronic medical records of you and I. Uh, in 3D, and that would be uh, with text in the sidebar. So this new form of publishing of books and even new formats would uh, be observable, uh, readable, engageable, uh, only online. So second format would be online in a new format, maybe with the upcoming Google uh, tensor chip, uh, semiconductor. The other format would be to familiar paper. Again, 200 countries, 7,151 known living languages. So that's the first bit of news I'd like to share with you. Uh, you can find the bookstore and emerging academic press at twitter.com forward slash W-U-A-S-P-R-E-S-S, -S -S, the website World University and School.org forward slash academic press HTML is there too. And let's go inside for the next parts of the WS News in question and answer. How visible is this Barnes and Noble booksellers sign on the front of the store in this sunny day? This is an experiment also. So let's go in and see some books uh, on the way to uh, the next part of the WS News and Question and Answer. Entering the, w, the uh, Barnes & Noble bookstore. You can see lots of books behind me. Trove, an amazing resource. Exciting to see. And let's see, find a good place to sit. So, part two of US News and Question and Answer on Monday, August 29th, 2022, has to do with our upcoming three degrees bachelor degree, uh, first emerging from ocw.mit.edu courses and CS first with Google at World University and School of Courses and Platform. So Mwende Evande in Cameroon, Africa, he finished the CS first with Google at WS course this spring, learning the scratch programming language and in the process, he uh, matriculated, he made it possible to for himself to matriculate in 
to free four year bachelor degree program at World University and School. And in reaching out to him today in, and the other universities in the WS News and Question and Answer, uh, I shared with him that uh, Moende, given no further developing courses in CC4 licensed CS first with Google at WUAS, what World University and School can offer you is a self-directed first year of undergrad courses and from cc4ocw.mit.edu resources at the college at World University and School. Please let me know if you have any questions one day. Meeting at World University and School is org is the email address. In a related vein, was glad to get um, congratulations from Paul Anderson at George Fox University near Portland, Oregon, earlier this uh, few months ago, and also addressed on Twitter to Sidwell Friends Quaker School, Quaker High School, in the Washington in Washington D.C. And regarding potentially World University and School, possibly with CS First with Google at WES, reaching out to Sidwell Friends graduates and even for cohorts or groups of graduates to apply for these free degrees, potentially with CS First with Google at WUAS course, Learning the Scratch Programming Language. This will be a four-year online free bachelor's degree emerging also from cc4ocw.mit.edu undergraduate courses. What's exciting potentially here is uh, for Sidwell Friends High School itself to talk with Google Education coders about how the cc4ocw.mit.edu might be further adapted with AI and machine learning and uh, on a Google platform uh, with similar resources, courses such as CS First, Computer Science First with Google at WUAS. Uh, I'm hopeful that this conversation is proceeding and that possibly in January, uh, World University and School could further facilitate a ongoing uh, conversation with um, or set of courses for a first year undergraduate course uh, of study, first of four years, uh, which would combine ocw.mit.edu with CS First at Google at WUS education courses, all Creative Commons for license, license, which says one, uh, courses can be shared freely, two, uh, they can be adapted, ocw.mit.edu as CC4 can be adapted, change, developed with IT, uh, but three non-commercially. So that's the beginning of part two of this WS news and question and answer. Item three is uh, a new possible physical move for World University and School from California to Pennsylvania. And World University and School is wondering what the implications for World University and School from Pennsylvania for the exempt in California, work World University and School and the other legal entity in California the for-profit general stock company in California, the WS Corporation, with taxes paid, and also for the third legal entity, World University and School, the 501c3 exempt World University and School at the federal level. So in seeking to develop a new address now in Pennsylvania, what would change, especially with these two California legal entities? If you have thoughts or questions or observations about this, I'm opening this conversation to you. You might be watching this at a later point. Uh, please let World University and School know 
meeting at worlduniversityandschool.org. Uh, the fourth item today in this WUAS news and question and answer has to do with the potential for uh, virtual earth and a virtual carbon hot springs in Street View with Time Slider and regarding the physical digital carbon hot springs ethnographic book that I wrote in 2016 which was published by the academic press at Warwick University and School. So are you in a new city? Will you, might you have, what might you be moving? How best to be able to visit and have fun learning and also wiki create anywhere in a realistic virtual earth, in a realistic virtual earth for STEM at World University and School. And similarly, how to study in, or you have the opportunity as sort of a fifth item to study online in a realistic virtual earth, uh, a realistic virtual earth for STEM with TensorFlow AI. And to do this for three degrees that emerged from CC4, OCW, MIT, EDU resources. And potentially in this realistic virtual earth as both classrooms and coding opportunities and as STEM field sites. So, fifth item I'm sharing with you today in this WES news and question and answer on 82922 is study online in a realistic virtual earth with TensorFlow AI, with Google Translate, with realistic avatar bot electronic medical records from your house or anywhere. And for WUAS free to students degrees emerging from cc4ocw.mit.edu resources email at sgkmaclod at worlduniversityandschool.org. Uh, check it out. In tweeting this also earlier today, I also share uh, a whole series of other data science resources from Kadu Livingstone in Nigeria, I think, including how, for example, um, TensorFlow AI might make up one aspect of a tech stack that you might be developing in a computer science track at World University and School. And Python might be another, and PyTorch might be another. Machine learning, deep learning might be others, artificial intelligence in potentially a four year free to students cc4ocw.mit.edu and CS first with Google at WUAS bachelor's degree program, then later PhD degrees program, PhD degree programs, uh, also medical school degree programs, law degree programs, and eventually IB high school degrees as well in 200 countries and in their main and official languages as well. So that's the news for today. Uh, see the Twitter feed for some of this further, twitter.com forward slash W-O-R-L-D-U-N-I-V-A-N-D-S-C-H. And also check out the uh, YouTube channel for World University and School, youtube.com forward slash W-O-R-L-D-U-N-I-V-A-N-D-S-C-H. Uh, meeting at worlduniversityandschool.org is the email address. And until next week, September 5th, 2022, 1 p.m. Eastern time, 10 a.m in the Pacific time. And I'm Scott McLeod. And until next week, potentially, youtube.com forward slash W-R-L-D, U-N-I-D, A-N-D, S-C-H. Keep reading, keep reading online, keep reading physical paper books, world university and school and org, org. Till next time.